a new critical vulnerability text for shell similar to the old spring for shell and lock for shell on the very popular apache commons text library has been discovered hey friends welcome back to your channel your friend ali here back again with a new video in this cv today show we'll have a quick look at the text for shell vulnerability let's get started the vulnerability is tracked as cve 2022-42889 the cvss score of 9.8 marked as a critical severity potential impact in terms of confidentiality integrity and availability successful exploitation of this vulnerability the crafted request can take full control over the vulnerable systems. Apache Commons Text is a Java library described as a library focused on algorithm or working on strings. We can see it as a general purpose text manipulation toolkit. Even if you are familiar with the coding, you may have run into Commons Text as a dependency in your code or it might be used by an application you are currently running in your laptop or production environment. The vulnerability affects the string substitutor interpolator class which is included in the commons text library. A default interpolator allows for string lookups that can lead to remote code execution. This is due to a logic flaw that makes the script DNS and URL lookup keys interpolated by default as opposed to what it should be according to the documentation of string lookup factory class. These keys allow an attacker to execute arbitrary code via lookups. In order to exploit the vulnerabilities, the following requirements must be met. Run a version of Apache Commons text from version 1.5 to 1.9. Use the string substitutor interpolator. It is important to specify that the string substitutor interpolator is not as widely used as the string substitutor in log4j which is lead to log 4 shell. Even though the CVE 2022-42889 is exploitable under specific conditions which makes the vulnerability not as popular as the others seen during this year, it's still important to take immediate actions. To be safe, patch with the latest version to mitigate vulnerabilities and use scanners to find out if you are affected and it's also important to take necessary measures to mitigate the vulnerability and never stop monitoring your infrastructure or applications at runtime. That's it for this episode. Hope you guys love this video. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Till then, next time. Peace out. Bye bye.